Recently, I was scrolling through GitHub's trending Python packages, as one does, and I came across a library that looked pretty cool called Insight Face, and it's for facial recognition. Now, I've done a video before on this channel about Deep Face, which at the time was a state-of-the-art facial recognition Python library. And this one was getting so popular that I figured I'd give it a try. Not only does this package do facial detection and analysis, but the thing that really drew me towards it was its ability to do face swapping. I'm sure we've all seen face swaps made in Photoshop where you essentially just cut out the person's face and stick it on someone else's. But this type of face swapping is not like that. It's really amazing. So I figured I'd make a short video to show you the code that I wrote in order to get this to work. And if anything, this video is to show you how you can find open source packages that maybe implement something that you're interested in and test them out on your local machine and give them a try. Okay, let's start coding. Here's the website for Insight Face. You can see they link directly to their GitHub page. They explain basically why they're the best in the business and they've won some awards that sort of back that up. So the first thing I did was took a look at their repo and you could see that they have some documentation that goes along with this code as well as some examples and a quick start guide. Now I'm interested in writing code in Python, so we're gonna be using their Python package, but there was a little bit of a hiccup that I ran into when I was trying to recreate this tutorial that they have. And the next thing I did was created a new Conda environment where I pip installed the Insight Face package. I like doing this for new projects because it keeps my environment completely isolated from all the other environments that I'm working with. So just to test out this package, I created a Jupyter Notebook and I made sure that I activated the Insight Conda environment that I had installed Insight Face. Now I'm importing some packages that we'll use here. CV2 and matplotlib can be used to read image files and to display them. And then of course we're importing Insight Face, which is the package that we'll use to do the face analysis. Insight Face has this app object for face analysis and this Insight Get Image is just a helper function that they created for downloading an example image. Just so you know what package versions I'm running, I'll print the versions here for you. And the process for doing this face swapping actually takes part in two steps. Step number one is detecting the faces and step number two is doing the swapping. In order to detect the faces, we're gonna use this face analysis object that we imported. And we're providing it with the name of the face detection model that we wanna use. In their documentation, they go over the different types of models that you can use. And the one I'm using, Buffalo L, is one of the larger models. So when you run this the first time, it will actually download the model weights into this .insight face folder in your home directory. And let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna use this insight get image function just to get their example image from their tutorials. And I'm using matplotlib here to display the image. Now I'm taking the last channels here and I'm reversing the order because matplotlib actually plots channels in a different order than CV2, which was used to read this file. I have a whole video about working with image data that goes into detail about that. But we can see here, this is just an image of all the characters from the TV show Friends. And we're gonna do some face swapping with this image. So let's take this detection app that we created and let's run a dot get on it and provide this our image. This will detect the faces. We do get some warnings here, but it does run fine. But if we look at what this returns, it's actually a list of dictionaries. And each item in that list is a dictionary for a face that it's detected. We can even take a look at the length of the faces and we see that it's six, which matches the number of faces we see here. So let's take a look at one of the items in the faces. And if we look at just the keys, to this dictionary, we can see we have the bounding box location of the face, some key points, the detection strength, and also a bunch of landmarks as well as predictions for the gender, the age, and embeddings. Now these embeddings are gonna be used when doing the face swap, so it's important that we've run using a good detector 
to get the detection. But just to make sure that it's cropped the correct faces, let's go ahead and plot a crop of each face. I'll make here a matplotlib subplot with six plots, one for each face, and we're gonna fill this in with the faces. So I wrote this code that essentially takes these faces and we enumerate over them. Then we take the bounding box locations and slice our main image so that we could see what it's detected. And you can see it's each of the six faces in our main image. So this looks good to go. We're almost ready to do some face swapping. For step two, we're gonna do the face swapping. In order to do this, we need to use Insight Faces Model Zoo, and we're gonna use this in swapper model. This model has an Onyx file that has the model weights. And by default, this tries to download the model weights, but they've removed them. Luckily for me, I found a Reddit post where someone had saved off these weights and I was able to download them. I'll link that in the description if you wanna give that a try. So we could see now we've created our swapper object. So let's choose one of these faces that we wanna swap for the others. So I'm gonna take the first face that we have here and make that our source face. And if I plot the first face, we can see it's Ross. It's Ross's face that we'll be swapping in for all the others. And now we're gonna use the swapper. So we have our swapper object and we're gonna use dot get and dot .git takes the image that we want to get the face from, we provide it the target face and the source face, and then we're gonna actually use paste back equals to true, which means it's gonna paste over in our image with that new face. But we don't wanna run this on our original image because we wanna keep that intact. So I'm gonna make a copy of that image and just call it res. This is the copy of the image that we're gonna use and swap the faces on. And we're gonna to wanna to do this six times. So we're gonna say for face in faces, and then we're gonna run swap or get on this image, swapping the original face with the source face. That didn't take long at all to run. And let's take a look at the swap faces. And just like that, now we have our image with Ross's face taking over everyone else's. Just to show you that a little bit more clearly, I wrote this code that loops through each of them and plots them individually. I just think it's interesting how his mouth expression is definitely different. It even accounts for the face being turned to the side. So of course I couldn't let it end there. So let's try to do some swapping with my face. So when I was doing the live stream, I took a screenshot of my face, which we'll just call Rob. And to show what it looks like when I took the picture, now we're gonna detect my face from this image and swap it out with all of the friends' faces. And the steps to do this are just like before. I'm detecting my face in the picture that I took. I'm copying the original friends' image, and then I'm swapping out my face and pasting that back over that image. Finally here, I wrote some code that'll just plot this result and let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's right, I need to make Rob face equal to Rob faces, just the first one. And there we go, my face has been swapped out for each of the faces and friends here. And of course, this doesn't only work for this picture of friends. I took this Monty Python image and did the exact same thing to it. And with just these few lines of code, we're getting the faces from the Monty Python and swapping them out with my face. And there we go, it's actually swapped out my faces. It even has the mouth open here. And I don't know, you tell me what you think about how well it deals with the fact that there's a beard of this guy here in the center. The next thing I did was created a function that would do everything in our process from before, but make it a little bit more reproducible. So I called this function swap and show, and you provide it two image file names. And then I have these variables that will plot before or after, depending on if you have these as true or false. This code is very similar to what we just did above. It just assumes that there's only one face and it does the swapping to both images with the opposite face. So to show how this works, let's test this on two sort of famous people in the machine learning industry, and we're gonna swap their faces and see what it looks like. I'm gonna leave the plotting before and after shown so you can kind of see what the difference is. All right, here's the before picture and the after picture. I also have the function returning the two images, which I don't even want to show. So I'm gonna make that sent to an underscore. That's just how you throw away the result of a function in Python. Now I'm surprised that this even handles the glasses well. 
running it on Obi-Wan and Spock. Not too bad, not too bad. So next I wanted to swap faces of two people in the same image. I just wrote a function that does it very similar to the last step, but it assumes that there are two faces in a single image and then does the swap. Now I called this function swap and show same image, and it only takes in a single image and the app and swapper objects. I thought it'd be fun to test this out on celebrity couples. So I have four different couples pulled in here and I'm gonna pull it through our swap and show same image function. That one's interesting. Okay. Before and after. And finally, so there you go. I showed you how I used an open source Python library to swap faces and you should be able to do it just as easily too. If you've watched until this point, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So give it a like, subscribe, and send this to 20 of your favorite friends that you wanna swap your face with. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see anything specific in the future. I'll see you all next time.